Cosmos. Five ball corner pocket. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to this film short. I'm your host, the Doc, the Ghost Net Guy. Today, we're going to learn about the manifolds that we use on our boat to keep the engine cool and get rid of the exhaust. A lot of people take it for granted that they're just going to last for quite a long time. In fact, when you're in the salt water and running the exhaust through, sometimes there's nothing you can do about the salt crystals that dry when you're out on the water for an overnight cruise or maybe you've gone three or four days. That's all it takes. It's amazing how that salt will build up into that elbow system of your manifold. The reason I know these things is because I've chartered for all of these years out in the Straits of Juan de Fuca. One morning in particular, we're up off at Pillar Point, you know, where the tide's on the incoming. We got a couple of nice fish in the box already, and everything's going smooth. And I noticed that the tide has now changed, so I've had to get into the engine compartment and adjust the carburetor throttle adjustment here. And as I have changed the speed, I watch the rotation of the flasher, and this allows me to make sure that my gear's running properly. Because just because you think it's running this way at the surface, <laughs> it's a big difference down deep, especially where I troll in that 180 to 225 bottom depth level with these 20-pound leads, yes, sir, <laughs> on this rod extender system. But that's a whole nother story. So while I'm down there, though, I bump into the exhaust manifold and the riser that's above it, and it's hot. Aha! The reason I know it's hot is over the years, I've had a lot of help with machinists and people that are in the automotive industry, the marine industry, in particular, coastal marine engine. Wow, Jesse over there. These guys are fabulous. Well, my father taught me, however, on our old Owens 23-foot flagship motor, that if you could hold your hand on the elbow of the motor, of this exhaust elbow, for a count of 10, you're in the safe zone. If you can't, it's overheating and it's something that you got to take care of. And that's what this film short's all about, taking care of this elbow. You're going to need a couple of tools. It's really going to be simple to do, though. You take a hacksaw blade, oh, 18 tooth, maybe clear up to a 24, 21 tooth, but a brand new one. You then stick it in the vise at an angle and take a sledgehammer, give it a good whack, and you'll break and leave a point, yes, in this hacksaw blade. Now, you take the manifold off the engine, which is easy to do, you throw it up off the uh, workbench, and the riser that you remove also, you put in a vise, and it's best to work outside when you do this. And just start cleaning it out with this filing of, that's right, a hacksaw blade cutting through all of this salt and grime, and stay with it. Don't, don't be in a hurry. And after a while, it'll go from looking like you're doing now to looking like this. Hey, how about that? <laughs> Before and after. Do the same thing on the manifold. Put new gaskets on. Throw it all back together. And you now have extended the life of that elbow. And you'll have more success, too. <laughs> Cosmos, eight ball. I'm putting it in the side pocket. That's one thing about the two of us. We always have this match going on. Eight ball. Nice follow through. 